What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Extella last time. Uh, we led a march onto Caster's area, beat her, regained the regalia piece. Uh, Elizabeth showed up, stole it, and it broke. Yeah. So Caster fled with, uh, her, uh, with her literal husbando. And now we have a new enemy in the form of a brown, thin woman with, uh, a third me, and a third regalia, going by the name Altera. I'll make note here that Altera, while is not new to the uh, Fate universe, she was actually first introduced in uh, Fate Grand Order. I'll make a note that the Altera in Fate Grand Order and the one here are different, and that's all I'll say. Just so no one gets the idea of trying to huh, look that up and go, Oh, wow, she's this! <laughs> no, she's not. Anyways, moving on. <sighs> and so we return by great fortune or the grace of the gods. Imagine the great narrow Claudius and her glorious praetor first to forced to retreat with uh, scarcely even a proper name to call our foe. Despite all our past victories, it seems we still have much to learn. Perhaps we are not yet the equals of the great Caster. No, Caesar, not Caster. What? I'm still tired. I mean, we're still alive thanks to you. When the light of destruction swallowed us both, I thought that was the end for sure. But Sa Saber saved us both. And here we are, healing up in my room. Soon enough, we'll both be good as new. Do not shower such praise on me this time. It was you who saved us both. Alone, I fear I would have failed. Been consumed in the light. Oh, such a terrible state of affairs. Please forgive my lack of power on this one occasion. After all, her destruction was no great spectacle. I could easily compose one far greater. Grander, whatever. Or so I wish to say. But my heart has yet to rise from its sunken depths against such raw, rampaging aggression, even one such as I. I must be well and truly exhausted to worry so. Praetor, may I rest alongside you? I'm gonna say no, but we have more to discuss. Because now we have... This. I love her laugh. It's so hilarious. There was a time when I would simply charge into battle, heedless of all. You have certainly kept me fit for such things. Please, rest upon, rest here upon my lap. What would you ask of me, Praetor? Would you have me sing you a lullaby? Or perhaps a bedtime story? I have so many tales from the moon's holy grail war. Wasn't I a part of most of them? Again, we have really free reign on what we want to pick here, so... Uh, a lullaby? Saber knows a lullaby? That sounds fantastic. Please sing it for me. But the moment after I say that, I freeze up. All my instincts go on high alert. Alarms go off in my head, but it's too late. Then allow me to regale you with my special song, fondly known amongst all Roman children. Muses, patron of the arts, enter my throat. Diana, forgive me as my song disturbs the night's tranquility. Now, by Romulus, I will hold nothing back. It begins. There's no way of stopping it. I've opened Pandora's box. For all the memories I've been trying to regain, I'm sure I forgot this one on purpose. They say sounds and smells can bring old memories back, and now I know it for sure. When Saber sings, her face is beautiful, divine even. No, not even a goddess could compare. But that's not the problem. I can't possibly sleep when I'm hearing this. 
Her voice drowns out everything else around me. I can't hear or even think of anything else. Oh, I see why now she calls Elizabeth her bandmate. Huh. Oh, Saber. You look so comfortable singing that way. I... I just want to sleep now. You can wrap up the lullaby. Really, it's... It's okay. Wonderful. What? Wonderful. I've barely begun the fourth verse, and already you say enough? Wait until the tenth verse, when the sleeping child goes to the festival at the Coliseum, and the excitement truly begins. Ah, uh, too entranced by my song to relax, are you? Such cruel irony, that is. Very well. Rest your body and prepare to travel to the land of dreams. We shall resume from the fifth verse next time. There will never be a next time, ever. Yeah, sounds good. So sleepy. I can barely get a nod before I close my eyes. Right away, sleep wraps me up like a blanket. It's not exactly slumber, more like fainting. Well, we still have more. The new Seraph expands automatically. Of course, some of its territories are based on Rome. But all in all, its lands are as diverse as the world as they would be on Earth, complete with various resources. For example, in one territory, you can harvest tea leaves. With an especially pleasant aroma, I might add. Tea leaves. Is that what they are? Since I don't have many memories, all I can do is nod along with her. I tilt my head in a way I hope looks natural. Now, to be honest, I'm not entirely clear on what it means for Seraph to be expanding on its own. Where, were I to speculate from my own vivid imagination, I might suppose... Seraph may be trying to imitate the Earth. Not in Earth's current state, but uh, bleak and blasted as it is, but old Earth, back when it was lush and green. Stars in the sky, flowers from the ground, if that's the era it wishes to recreate, then of course new growth would be a part of that. Ugh, I'm stumbling over all of my words at this point. <clears throat> she might be right. If I see the new Seraph from a broader angle, will I get the same impression she does? <laughs> then we must conclude the campaign at once. Let us stride across every great land this moon can offer us. First, we should visit that fox's city, blooming as it is with such beautiful flowers. Oh, and speaking of the fox... What were your impressions of that other you standing beside her? The great scholar spoke of your soul, but I saw also no s but I saw no such thing there. I saw a being devoid of spirit, without purpose or identity. The other Vlad Izanagi. I've been thinking about it ever since we first met. I didn't get much of an impression from the other me at that time. Of course, Master. You are never particularly assertive to begin with, quiet and reserved as you've always tended to be. Even so, you always had a certain strength, an undying optimism in your very core. I could scarcely bear it at times, but enough of that. It seemed that Castor had deceived your soul somehow, but there was something else there, something fragile. Oh God. As if Castor had some kind of maternal instinct towards her version of you. Perhaps that's what's been troubling me. Don't mind me, I need a drink. Ugh. Well, you are sh you sure are folk look uh, fuck looking at every angle. Uh, of course. This is your other half we speak of, after all. Pardon me if I find the subject intriguing. When one struggles through the hardships of life and a bunch of fresh, delicious grapes appear, anyone would forget themselves. 
But think not that I prefer your other self to you. Rather, I want you both, the mind and the soul. Caster's right, you're just as greedy as her. Y yeah. She's so upfront and greedy that I can't help but blush. You fool. I was joking to hide my embarrassment. That other creature is a poor substitute for you, to say the least. I only have eyes for you. As long as you stand by my side, you are my praetor, and I hope I need not remind you. This has all been touching. Can I go now? <laughs> okay, finally. We're out of dialogue. That is it, yes. Still such a terrible sight, so bright yet so hideous, as if the heaven's wrath were upon us. Alright, cool. With that said, we can now begin. Chapter 4, Top Servant. Oh, seriously, what's up with my nose? So clogged up. Mm. Later, in the throne room. Oh, good, Archimedes is still here. He's not dead. It is good to see you safe and sound, your majesty. The enemy force nearly swallowed me up, but I somehow managed to escape. I had thought you lost for certain, great scholar. It does me good to see you well. The Praetor is also well, as you can see. With the three of us together again, our troubles are as breeze ag breezes against our mighty bulwarks. Impressive. Your enemies mount, mount, but your spirit endures. I would have expected as much from the start. Even after witnessing such destruction with your own eyes, you still hold strong. Seraph could not ask for a more dependable king. I suggest we shore up our we shore up our forces first. While half the regalia may be gone, the automated system is still producing our military units. Additionally, our base of operation is both hidden and very well defended. I knew this place had its advantages. Oh god, seriously. No, or not, no, it knows. Immediately forgot what the hell it was called. I knew this place had its advantages, but I dared not dream they would extend quite so far. Regardless, we won't win hiding here. The White Servant's forces are powerful, and her sword is on par with... Vesuvo's Fury? I don't know that one. More than that, her master is... Right. There's no doubt that her master is the third, Vladi Zanagi. There must be a story behind that, but I can't imagine what it is. Do you have any ideas, great scholar? It is fair to surmise that the third Vladi Zanagi is the master's body. And Castor, of course, still retains the soul. Body and soul. So I'm the mind of Vladi Zanagi. Castor's version is the soul. And the one with the white servant represents my body. Okay, I can get on board with that. To be honest, when I first met the second me, I had a feeling that might be the case. Because... Well, think about it. If there's more than one of you, why assume they'd stop at two? Your thoughts are both confusing and magnificent. Truly a praetor in name and deed, gentle and grand. And these three beings are a kind of trinity. Now, generally, a digital life form requires all three to be connected. But oddly enough, this one time, the three of them have become independent, each with its own digital shell, or cyber frame. Unfortunately for yourself, Praetor, the mind is the least stable of the three. And if there is no dedicated vessel to record its data, such as a body or soul, that data is in constant risk of fading away entirely. But there is a solution, isn't there, great scholar? Indeed. I have confirmed that the object the White Servant wore was in fact another regalia, much like Castor had before. So to amend my earlier statement, the regalia must have been split into three pieces, not two. 
Three Praetors, three Regalia, and now the royal authority rests with... Hmm. Very well. Hmm. I should not have assumed this would be simple. More to the point, if we restore the Regalia, then Praetor will return to normal? Of course. Castor's Regalia has been broken, but Attila's Regalia still remains. If we establish one fused regalia as the core, we can recreate the master's cyber frame and place the mind at the center. I understand just enough of that to approve. In any case, our goal remains unchanged. Does it not, Praetor? We need only fight to keep Seraph united and repel the invading army. Powerful as Altera may be, she caught us exhausted after our fight with Castor. Against our full strength, she will surely yield. Oh, I don't know about that. A good general needs to be confident, sure. But be careful not to take that too far. Hello, Ku. How have you been? That heroic spirit. I don't know if Altera is her real name or not. But it's certain she's exceptional. She has to be some kind of special case. Her noble phantasm can't be explained by the normal rules. There must be a secret to it. Lancer, am I to assume you clashed with Altera? And were you able to grasp her identity? No. We did technically fight briefly, but when I saw how strong she was, I backed off immediately. <coughs> Excuse me. But besides that, Miss Emperor, it's hard for me to say this, but... Sir Kukuthin, our majesty has already recovered. Please speak freely. Fine. I might as well get it out now. We are seconds away from our final victory over that fox lady, Tamo. She had that one sliver of territory left, right for the taking. Oh, let me guess. Altera took more. Yes, of course, and now she's defeated. She escaped, but she will never return. She, so now, instead of taking that one sliver from Tamo, we need only take it from Altera, yes? N not so much. Yeah, nope. W what do you mean? You two seem to be getting along quite well. Praetor and I spent a day and a half at rest and... Bingo! While you two are out, Altera's forces stomped over everything in sight. In half a day? No, not even that. They took over 80% of Seraph. 80? Yeah. Did you say 80%? Yes, I did. Gawa and Assassin, that Archer and I all managed our posts and fought like hell. But they swarmed every one of us. If we hadn't cut our losses and sealed off the last 20% from the rest, they'd be here already, too. That girl's got guts, whoever she is. You can tell she's used to crushing her enemies. On top of that, her subordinates are no joke either. The great hero of Macedonia, was it? I never thought I'd see him working for her. Macedonia. Eight. T. A eight. Eighty. Praetor, did you hear that? Eighty in but half a day. Okay, I tell her. Snap out of it, Saber. If it's taken, then all we have to do is take it back. You're good at that. And you love doing it, right? We'll fix this. Y yes, you're right, Praetor. You speak the truth. But 80% in a day, that makes Castor's 50 in half a month seem positive, positively adorable. Very well. We have no choice. I must restore the regalia and protect the Praetor from fading away. What was taken will be ours again.
Yay, new content. More talking. Oh, oh, I was expecting this. Never mind, I wasn't expecting this. There may. Okay. I'm gonna try to not butcher those. There may is so incredible. I do like Tepidarimus. Dariums. Tepidariums. But a swim in a caldarium is simply incomparable. The day's fatigue is leaving my body. E oh, God. Ugh. The day's fatigue is leaving my body even now, as it should here in the healing ambience of my room. And yet, I feel something else as well. I feel... How do you feel, Praetor? Fantastic, of course. I can almost feel myself melting into the heated pool. And I feel hotter than the water itself. Not just from the water on my skin, but from inside. All across my face and chest. I'm bathing with Saber. Nothing could cool me off right now. Oh my. Uh, I see. So you do remember the beating of your physical heart. No need to conceal such feelings. Not when I share them. Granted, neither of us could conceal much at this very moment, but... Uh, and now I feel hot for an entirely different reason. Ah, uh, glorious Praetor. Only in your presence could I feel so embarrassed. Nothing could heat my body as you do. Except, perhaps, for this water. In case you were curious, by the way, you are the first and only person ever to share this bath of roses with me. And there she is, a golden ruler, welcoming me to her emerald bath filled with roses. Despite all the beauty around us, I find myself unable to take my eyes from her. And even the slightest glance in her direction, I fall in love all over again. Just as one would expect from such a passionate mind, Praetor. So brazen, and yet so humble, it gives me great pleasure to feel so quaintly embarrassed by you. Though I am growing accustomed to you by now, maiden that I am, always blushing over flowers, even I cannot stay surprised at you forever. In truth, I first invited you here for a serious discussion, but now that you're here, I find it difficult to focus on such things. Oh, well, imagine that. Well, as they say, one must lose a fly to catch a fish. Might I have the ple pleasure of your embrace? Uh... What embrace are we talking about here? <laughs> My embrace right away, your majesty. Nah, let's let's call the sexual tension. Discussion is about the third me. I want her embrace more than anything, but we do need to talk about the third Vladi Zanagi. He's <laughs> <laughs> Even with all my charms, I still fall short this time. Well, perhaps another day then. Yes, about the third, pr th 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 third Praetor, or should I say the body. Unlike Castor, Altura is keeping her, you, as a prisoner. Or so it appears. It seems she's somehow forced a contract between master and servant. If it is indeed so, I can understand why she keeps you close. Perhaps there is more to their relationship, but regardless, whatever they have together must be based around the regalia. Or is it based around Altera's power? We must learn more. We do know Altera is a servant, so the other you is safe, at least from her. As long as that you retains the title of master. I see. As long as the body doesn't break the contract with Altera and lose the master title, Altera won't let the body die. <laughs> yes. If it were otherwise, we would need to move without delay. 
But one way or another, we do need to rescue Praetor's body before Altera changes her mind. Alright, I'm glad we're stuck like this now. Alright, well. Uh. <laughs> By now, I've already released the video explaining how to unlock Artoria and what this sign means. So, yeah, you already know. So we're not going to be doing it, because really it serves me no purpose on this profile. Because by the time we need Artoria, I'm going to be on my other profile. So, yeah. Alright, what do I got? Perform three Extella Maneuvers, three Code Cast, perform 18 hit combo, take over. Alright. Actually, I suppose the only one I really need to look at is uh, Narrow, which is use Code Cast. Alright, let's rumble! <coughs> All right, I forget what I have to do here. I think it's just... Oh, shit, I didn't change my clothes. Uh, let's go do that real quick. Because this introduces a new mechanic into the battles. And a mechanic I would rather not like to die by. So we need to go to craft. Craft. I need this as much as I don't like it. There we go. I need resist flame. Which I should have looked at because I can see it from here to tell that. Alright, there we go. Now that's set and everything's set up, we should have no problem here. Alright. King of Conquerors, what? Your, we meet again, Altera. Saber, I'm surprised you're still alive. But my forces of destruction will eliminate you shortly. Oh, those are bad. Wait, you're running away? She disappeared. Where's the third Praetor? Alright, well. Seems like I'm on my own here. I need to get these guys... Ne oh, wait, no. I was going to say that's not going to help me because... <laughs> I don't... I don't have a... I don't have... Any Extella Maneuver. That's what I was trying to think. I was like, how? Brain. Help. Words. All right, I have to defeat Iskandar. Ah, yes, Iskandar from Fate Zero has made his introduction. Uh, which I should probably go take care of. I'll leave Assassin to take this area. Because since Iskandar is the main target, uh, he will net me the most profit for taking care of. Also, ignoring him is a terrible decision, considering he gets stronger the more areas he conquers. Uh, quite true to his name as the King of Conquerors. There we go. Alright, Conquerors, show yourself. I hate Iskandar for one reason. He has a lightning base attack. That one. Lightning is a status effect. If you are hit by lightning, you basically cannot attack or use Extella maneuvers. Or really do anything, honestly. It sucks. The most you can do is run away and hope not to die. Uh, thankfully, I shouldn't have too much of an issue with him. Shouldn't, keyword. Come on, I want this. There it is. And run him over! That way I can take out large numbers of his forces. Well, I say large, but... I mean, it's not really that large. Alright, 
But I did get the other aggressors on the field, so there's that. And I don't think I need to completely kill him. I think he just runs away. I think, yeah, there we go. He just runs away. So that leaves me to face off with these agitators then. Which hopefully shouldn't take too long. And then I can start moving to that level 4 area. Take it. And then go to the level 3. There we go. There you take him. I trust that Assassin can take that area down there, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'll go stop this plant from doing whatever the hell it pleases down here. Oh, somehow I killed something that was not the plant. There we go. Also, I'm about to level up. I don't remember when I get my really good attack. I don't think it's for a while, though, unfortunately. Which makes me sad. And a Skandar is back, regrettably. Well, at least I've killed the uh, the plant here. And I could dispatch the plant here as well, but... I need to spend more time going after a Skandar. An assassin took that, no surprise. I figured he would. He wasn't fighting a servant. Hi. <laughs> Missed me? We just fought moments ago, but now I'm here to really take you on. And do basically next to nothing to your health. I would love for my Moon Crux to build up right about now so I can easily defeat him. There we go. And he'll run away again. And I got poisoned along the way, apparently, somehow. 